In this video, we're going to look at how we can solve an equation that is quadratic in form. And when we say quadratic in form is it looks like the quadratics that we've been solving in the past, the exponents are just a little different. What's important about the exponents to make this method work is the leading exponent must be double the middle exponent. Notice 4 is double 2. And if that's the case, what we're going to do is we are going to grab that middle part with the exponent, the x squared, and introduce a new variable, maybe call it y, and make it equal to that piece in that part. And the advantage is when we square both sides, we end up with y squared is equal to, squaring is going to double the exponent equal to x to the fourth, which is that other part. So now, instead of x to the fourth, we can replace that with y squared. Minus 13, and instead of x squared, we can replace that with y plus 36 equals 0. And we now have a quadratic equation that we can solve. The easiest way to solve a quadratic equation is by factoring. And in this problem, we'd want to multiply to 30 and add to negative 13. And you can see, oops, not 30, that's 36, isn't it? 36. That's a little nicer because we can do that with 9 and 4 if they're both negative. And because there's a 1 in front of y squared, we have y minus 9 and y minus 4 as our two factors. Then we know we can solve by setting each factor equal to 0, y minus 9 equals 0, y minus 4 equals 0, and solve by adding 9 to both sides, y equals 9, and adding 4 to both sides to get y equals 4. But we want to be careful here because we're not done yet. And we're not done because this equation wasn't interested in knowing what y equals, we made y up. This equation wants to know what x equals. We have this equation, we said y is equal to x squared, so let's substitute back. Now we're going to replace our y's in our solutions with x squared. y gets replaced with x squared equals 9, and y gets replaced with x squared equals 4, and then we can solve both of these equations for x. Simply done, we take the square root of both sides. Remember, with square roots, we have plus or minus 3. Square root of both sides, x also equals plus or minus 4. Our solutions to this equation are x equals 3, negative 3, 4, and negative 4. We found those solutions by noticing that one exponent on x was double the other. We introduced a new variable and made it equal to that middle piece, so that when we square the new variable, it equals that first piece. Substituting gives us a quadratic, which we can solve by factoring the quadratic formula or completing the square. And then we change back using our y equals equation by replacing the y with x squared and solving that equation for x. Quadratic in form.